Um, hey, so kicking off a small discussion while we're here, and this is one of the benefits of joining us in the stream. Okay, so first thought about the rules. So currently, the rules have it that say with the attributes strength, reflex, and intelligence, one point represents like professional level. So if you have a point in strength, you're like a professional athlete or something like that. If one point in intelligence, you're a, a scientist or something. Two points, we have decided that that kind of means world's best. So you're an Olympic level at whatever, like really, really high. So if we were to continue that kind of progression level, three points should then technically mean you can pick up a car and throw it. Yeah, it's I, I, I sort of statistically when we're actually rolling, that level of effect isn't reflected in the rolls. Where one point mm. in strength wouldn't make someone hugely overpowered to someone who has only two points in strength. Whereas narratively, we have it that there's a huge disparity, but statistically, we don't. Does that make sense? It does, but my thought is because you, I understand what you're saying, but at the same time. Okay, what would a challenge level conceivably be to pick up a car and throw it? For a strength check. According to this? Yep. On a regular human, if I was... Unrealistic? Racing, no, no, no. Virtually seven, impossible. Virtually impossible. Okay. Yeah. No, no, so, no, no, no. Eight. No, virtually impossible implies that there's a possibility. It would be eight, which you is can inconceivable. Lift, you can lift a car if you've got like adrenaline. Yeah, problem. but there's got to be room but for... Right. See, there's got to be like... I pick up a building and throw. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, but see, is it all eight? It would, it would be eight, right? Pretend it would be eight for a regular person. And so what we're saying is, no. someone with two strength should not be able to lift a car, which is challenge level eight. But narratively, according to the rules, three strengths, it's three points, is technically saying you should be able to lift the car, but you would rarely ever roll an eight I with video. a strength check. Video preview. Ah, oh, thank you. Yeah, sorry, go on. Yeah, you would rarely ever roll an eight with a le with three points in strength on the check, like it's actually impossible. Strength mm. check, you, you get three base plus three for strength. Max you can get is six, which is a hugely wet, rare roll anyway. Yeah. And so the statistics are not matching the narrative implication that was implied. And so in fact, there's a huge gap between the narrative description and the statistics that you can achieve. I understand. So I am following you, believe it or not. Yeah. I'm just pit, I'm just multitasking. Just ignoring me. No, no, I, I'm you. soaking in what you're saying. So what yeah. what are you proposing? I'm thinking we need to change the narrative uh, extremes of the stats. There's a problem. Keep the, the statistics are really balanced and they work really well. But what that simply means is... You're essentially saying we need rules in place for beyond the two points. Which we don't have because we're sort of assuming you can't go beyond the two points. Well, that's what I'm saying. I think we need to allow going beyond the two yeah. points to to have it balanced with the narrative better. And the and saying three points is not throwing car level. Three yeah, points is... So I would assume kind of four was throwing car level. I always assumed two was like I, really I would, I like would world's think, best and anything past that was absurd. Yeah, do you know what? I would think that beyond two, you could just justify it by saying that three or four is just absurdly inhumanly strong but throwing car level would mean like you might need four points in strength and to assist with a grapple ah. and then of course even then you, uh, you know why it would still be tough but you know, like you know grapple is a strength based skill so you get extra points for the assist yeah. so let's just let's just with rolls let's just see what this looks like yeah, could you bring up chat because people might be used to, um, some of <coughs> the one thing you're forgetting yeah, though Shad, totally which is dying. the entire narrative Sorry. Wow. Kojin. Kojin. That's a wow. really old um, <laughs> Narratives. Did yeah. you really? Was that? <laughs> Whoa, wow. that was a flashback. <laughs> yep. That was like one of the work in progress names of the system. Apologies. So one of the, I was trying to say narrative and then that's just the word that my brain spit out. <laughs> um, one of the things that you're forgetting is that these stats are scaled based on the campaign that you're playing as well. So no, 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 they're not supposed to be though. That's a, that's well, actually they are, because if, well, if you're playing a sci-fi setting, the a three might be that you've got um, some, some genetic enhancement yeah. or something, and a four I think might it, be your well, well, no, 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 You've actually pointed out the exact problem we're talking about, is the stats are, are not supposed to be different between campaigns. A two in strength, someone who has a two in strength should have the same level of strength as someone who's in a sci-fi setting with two in strength. Yeah, that, yeah, like, that is, that's, that's, that's the case. It is, yeah, but what I'm saying is... The narrator specifies the difference in the three and the that four. That is true. Like, because one and two always, mm -hmm. no matter what, means one is like 
Olympic level, two is like you're by far the best in the world, and then three means you would be above that. In this campaign, that might mean that, um, like, <coughs> for example, you're a bear. You're actually an animal, so you have that sort of strength uh, available to you. Okay, well, I was but, assuming but, that but, but see... That's kind of what I'm saying. It shouldn't actually change. The, the third point should always be the same, regardless of setting. Otherwise, well, uh, it, it doesn't match what you can achieve through the statistics that we've put in into the rules. It, it turns out that it will, though, because... Um, well, see, the challenge levels shouldn't change between... I'm going to go Sentina check out internet. And yeah. so... Well, the challenge level of throwing a car might be completely different from one Just campaign to go another. Just going to try and fix internet. Because if... For example, let's say we set a campaign um, where Earthlings go to live on Mars or something and the gravity is lower, um, they're going to be easier able to grab a car and throw it. Therefore, yeah, but see, that's gravity affecting the stat. Let's pretend like normal gravity on a normal Earth planet, like a challenge level throw a car would be eight. That, that we, we've kind of, regardless, and this is the point, even if you're a superhuman, that challenge level should be the same because you didn't, the challenge levels do not change between characters. They're well, supposed to be the same um, for everyone and it's your abilities, your stat points that help you achieve the higher challenge levels that affect it. And so what I'm... You don't need to change it though. Like, I don't see why you need to change it because, again, like... Yeah, the challenge level for throwing a car could be an 8, let's say, but... Um, well, this... Say we're playing a superhero setting. Yeah. The challenge level Someone for a wants superhero to play the Hulk. like a one. No, no, no. See, that, 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 see that's the key. The cha these challenge levels yeah, I know what it is. are not supposed to change. Did you fix it? Dropbox. That, so, I get what you're saying, and that's actually yep. something... <laughs> Exit Dropbox. Problem should be solved. I'm actually going to relaunch the stream. Okay. Okay, so this is something me and Jazza actually talked about, about changing the challenge levels according to the character trying to attempt it, and uh, we uh, decided definitively that that never happens. And so a challenge level to throw a car is an 8, always an 8, regardless of who's trying to do it, and their stats are the thing that will make achieving that 8 easier or more difficult. In which case, I think it makes sense to, let's say using our current rule system, mm -hmm. let's see how this feels, right? I'm a... a beyond Olympic level superhuman strength character. Not quite Superman, but yeah. I want you to do what you're doing, but I want to change it. I want you to play the Hulk. Let you, can we get to that next? Okay. Can we do my scenario first? Because okay. I'm, I'm going between there, right? So, we're just going for like a super strength sort of character, but not Superman, not the Hulk, right? Yeah. Okay, and just for everyone, sorry about the problems. It's down. We, we introduced- It's down. Is it up or down? It's, it's up. It's oh. up, yeah. Oh. Um, we're, there'll we're, be a delay, but they'll they'll catch. This. We're testing the rules, people. Uh, yeah. So we explained why. Okay. But base of three. Let's say a, a three points in strength, and I'm going to do a grapple check, and I've taken four points in grapple, mm -hmm. right? Knowing that this is the sort of thing I'll be, my character will be doing. The world's best grappler. The mm -hmm. assist to throw a car is what challenge level? At minimum three, but if I was to say a car, I would probably say four. Sure. Challenge level four. One, two, three, three four. four. Okay, so I matched it. Which means no, no assist. Which and means that was a that's a good example of an average. Did you steal my cheat sheet? Yeah. Yes. On average, you would never really get a okay. bonus from the assist yeah. on that. Yeah. Which means it's going to be virtually. So to throw the car, yeah, is that, it's, it's virtually impossible. All right. See, see my problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And cool. so what we're what we're explaining here, just to give people uh, give you guys uh, uh, an update, is that we've already said that two points in a stat means your Olympic level world's best, which would then to make the <coughs> curve. Conti I, you know, consistent, three points means you're a superhuman. And that's the narrative implication of the stats. And what I have have kind of discovered while looking at the rules is that the statistic implication of those stats doesn't reflect the narrative implication. Okay. That you couldn't throw a car if you had three points in strength. And, that's, and well, so what no. I think we need to do is change the narrative implication. So four or five points would have to then be the Hulk. We can mix it, we can do that, and we can add a subsequent rule in the rule book <laughs> to say any points beyond the two basic points 
could add plus to wins. So if you have three points in strength, which is one point, Ooh. if you have one point over the base two in strength, you get plus one Ooh. win to all strength based roles, Ooh. including strength checks, grapple checks. Because then we can cater to superhumans. So with four points in strength, you get plus two automatic wins, plus your base, base yeah. plus the four points in roles. Is this only for so, skills or is this, I mean, attribute? Skills or? and base roles. You are going to be fucking broken. If I had three. You have four in... A, in no, Josh is only talking... No, 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 no. core, core, core. Well, that's core. attribute, not skills. Strength, yeah, attribute, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Did I say skills? Yeah, well, I asked you about <laughs> skills and you said yes. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Is there a, we're back up? Yeah. yeah. Cool. All right, let's get back to this. All right, so let's do the Hulk, right? Mm -hmm. Three base points, four points in strength, okay? So hang on. You're adding... So the four points in strength, you're adding four dice. Four dice, yeah. And is that separate to the separate to the wins? So the plus, so, so you're you have plus four dice, plus, plus two wins. So, so you're the additional point is you, you have, doubling too. You it's have like the potential to get four you get, extra you get wins. You get more dice to roll and an automatic wins. You get okay, a potential yeah. four four wins from it. Because yeah. the reality is, you're not going to have three or four points in yeah. an I'm attribute. I'm liking your thinking because the, the the drawback I had is that we don't want the attribute points to get up to like six, where it's just it gets too big. Yeah, there. exactly. Yeah. But the way you're thinking is that it, you it, can get double duty out of it. So let's do the same scenario. Okay. I'm the Hulk, I'm going to throw a card. This is my base roll. Let's say I again have four in grapple. Bam. <coughs> so that's... Do we do plus two wins for the strength and plus two wins for the grapple? Or just no, just plus two wins for just strength. Just plus two wins for strength. Okay, so this is the grapple roll. One, two, three, four, five, plus two, six, seven, which is how much above... So, so hang on, Maggie just said... Challenge so level the four for assists, five, six, seven, no, that's no. a plus three win. So that means well, now... Time out, Jess. Time out. You're, you're going too fast. He's adding plus two oh, sorry, to the strength, good. but not that. Okay, uh, so, so this the is the assist. Not the I'm the Hulk. I'm throwing a car. We need to okay. look at the assist, just so I know I'm on the same page. Yep. You added the dice and the wins to skill checks as well as ability yeah. checks. So That's it's just point. plus two wins yep. to, uh, assist to any strength-based roll. Mm -hmm. Okay? So that was a grapple, still mm -hmm. a strength-based roll. Mm -hmm. Base of three, plus four for the attribute, plus... Four for the assist skill. It's <coughs> made my roll. Throw everything out though. I feel. How's that? Well, just let's let's finish the scenario. So wins. my end roll plus the two wins was seven, on top of the the challenge level four assist. You get okay. Plus three plus wins three. to your strength. Now my plus roll. Plus the additional two. That now the actual the strength thing. check is three, two, three, four plus the strength. I roll. That's one two, but it was a challenge level eight. Mm -hmm. Three <coughs> four five was the plus three from the assist. Mm -hmm. Six, seven, seven was the plus two from mm -hmm. my... So it was actually close, but was that, was close. A, that was a bad roll. It was a bad So, so that, that's not that bad because it means work. as the Hulk, you can still have a challenge. Yeah. But to th do something but like throw a car... the problem is, would the Hulk have a challenge of throwing a car? Technically, the Hulk should be able no, to throw a car whenever he wants to. Well, the... This is the thing. If you fail a roll, like it shouldn't yeah, be it's a natural. Narrative bay. Yeah, you could be like you, you pick it up it, and you, you pick up the bonnet of the car, like the car yeah, detaches you it from in half. You know, right. so there needs to be give. Like you yeah. can't play the Hulk, otherwise it's too OP. Yeah, right. Think about the bear. Like we can try this out with the bear as a as a thing. Because how got, much strength does the bear have? Because four. The bear then isn't it should, the Hulk. Then the bear should have three. Yeah, but the bear can hardly pick up a car for two reasons. It's got no hands yeah, but, and there's no cars. But this is why we, we need to get a balance. The bear, like, because this is a good uh, good question, is about what about creatures that are naturally far stronger than humans, but they're far from being the Hulk? Let's where's say... The mid, where's the midpoint? Well, the thing is, the, uh, stat sheet, the stat sheet is based on a human. Yeah, yeah exactly. On, on a playing character. The Hulk, the Hulk might have five, and that would make it plus mm. so, three. So the bear should have three, then? No. Yes. Based oh, on I'm this, not, no, I've given, based on this given system of plus automatic more. wins, it's based on a human. No, 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 no. Yes, but we've cha we're changing the rules. We're here. changing it. That that additional one gives him an extra dice so, and a win on top. Yeah, yeah. So it's actually better so he, with three points in strength. The bear is going to do better statistically than with four current points in the current rule system. Potentially. No, he will. No, no, guarantee. He gets an extra dice. Because rather than getting two extra dice to roll, he gets one extra dice to roll and one additional win point. But, but. It comes down to a roll-by-roll roll basis. That's the thing. It's a potential increase. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's a guaranteed it's a statistical advantage. No, it's a potential increase. Rob, Rob. Because if you it's have a four guaranteed di statistical... If you have four dice and every single one is a win, four. If you have three dice, right, you get one bonus win, but what if you only roll two? And yeah, you get three. three. Exactly. So you've got the potential but Rob, to get more or less. Well, <laughs> this the is same semantics. Way. All right. 
You, they both have they both have the what? same theoretical max wins. That's what I'm saying. I'm, f- I'm having a flashback. What were we, when we were doing the comments? Probability, comment Rob, but on probability, you draw it a thousand times one way, a thousand times the other. Which one has a higher probability of getting more wins? The new way, which is why it works better with him having three than four on the old one. Well, yeah, but that's the point. <laughs> no. Just, okay. No, I don't have. I, think a, I don't have an issue. Idea. I don't I have an issue with this saying idea. that. Oh no, it's a terrible idea. Don't do this. I'm just saying your wording was wrong. Hang on. You don't Let's, have wait, more wait, of a guys, chance, guys. Let's ask the bear. Bear, what do you think? I think I should do it. I should. Covered it. I you probably need to be able to. <laughs> How is that in the stream, though? Uh, I don't know. It seems pretty quiet in here. <coughs> I'll turn up these. Okay, that's the problem. The music's loud, but the. Yeah, I know. Because yeah. I'm sorry, I'll balance it. Yeah. We have to go through the sound files again and fix them all so that they're... Sorry, sorry. that was meant to be a joke, didn't work. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so that's an intro... I'm willing to give that a go. Well, apparently that was pretty loud because they're freaking out. Oh, really? Yeah, right, those, those two. <laughs> Good gosh. Sound really? effects, yay! <laughs> um, so... <clears throat> Alright, so... I have no qualms through moving one point yeah, so from put, the bed. It just means I have put, to put it somewhere else. Yeah. But the problem well, is... No, 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 but um, three is the equivalent of what four used to be, but better. So you're not, you wouldn't put it on something else, it would just be three. Because I've, one of I've got four points, points so that was I still have a point to distribute somewhere else. Because of the magic? No, because he no. gave me a certain number of points. I did, I gave him a certain number of points. So if, if we're changing the rule system... If we're changing the rule system, I think we need to adapt to fit what's already here for our characters. The bear should get three points in strength and it fits well. That's a terrible question, Dungeon Kills. Okay, so it? I don't reassign the point that I no, currently have. you just have. remove it one just point, disappears. but we're going to try the new rule system. What we actually also really need to do is note down all the changes we ever make. <laughs> so uh, that would be right. Smart. Because, that's, that's because we're going to have to make adaptions to the rule book, of because course. And we Here's a question I'm for sorry you. I forgot your online name, but one of our viewers also... Um, uh, wrote some rule suggestions yeah, that are really play tested well. on the forum and he had some good ideas. Rift King Will or was it? It might have been him. Um, is this one that did the mathematical breakdown on the commerce system? No. What? Oh no, yeah. it must be. That yeah. was did it was it in a, its favour or did it sort of smash it out of the water? I would say it was pretty balanced. I mean he had something to say. He more or less came to the same conclusions you and I kept coming to where we kept arguing. Did he? Kinda. <laughs> And then, like, I what yeah. was it? What was it you were talking about in terms of the value of something that you were trading? No, was it, no, it was a type yeah, of horse. He actually brings what that was up. the type of horse? Jazza, we have nightmares from that discussion. Let's destria. You were talking about destrias. I have video footage of you guys having that argument about destrias and pies. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, it was amazing. <laughs> really? Yeah, but, oh. You should post that then. Please man. don't. <laughs> <laughs> but no, he actually brought up the example because I did specify in the forum that um, I was going to um, buy like a shit ton of spoons really cheaply and then melt them down and craft armor and sell it for a profit. Question. And he did the math. He did the math. He went and it got worked? like a price, can, like a, an average list of prices and You also have to pay for someone's services to do it. Yeah, well, no, not if you do it yourself. But anyway, you have he, to be good enough. But yeah. yeah, he, you went, have, you he have went to and got, buy the smelting equipment. He he went and got in period. So like back in medieval times, prices for like <laughs> spoons and metal <laughs> and armor, and it actually worked out. That's amazing. I shit you not. You melt down the spoons and sell it for an armor. That and makes you make me a feel profit. really good about our combo system. <laughs> that makes me feel really good That's about our right. combo system. Um, All right, so hang on. Let's note this. So there were um, <clears throat> every point above two. This is the rule. Every point, point above, above two adds an additional type ty- dice on. above the base two attribute <laughs> point. <laughs> He's actually in Wait. chat. Soft <laughs> limit. Oh, really? <laughs> I got really bored, really, really bored. Uh, soft limit adds a plus one <laughs> win to all rolls using that attribute. Yeah. Deception is my sorry, only sorry, well, plus one plus it adds an additional dice to roll with. And a plus one win on top of it. So does that mean now if you have three, you get two dice and a win? No, if you, have three, if you have three, you get three dice to roll with and a win. That's what, like the points above two. Are yeah, like then you need to okay. remove the additional and then do dice because you've got a previous say, rule that says for each point of attribute, you get one dice. We that, that still is in place. Yeah, I know, but that means you don't need to write it in this section of the rules. 
Well, we're just making him track of it because we don't want to say the plus one when it's in place of the dice. <laughs> okay. Just keep in mind you've got to remove that plus one when you actually put it in the rule book. Speaking yeah, of the, the bear thing, has anybody seen The Revenant? Yes. yes How sir. cool is that scene? Yeah. The bear just goes ham. But then again, your bear's like way bigger. Um, way bigger. Way bigger. Probably like three times or What are your thoughts on the advantage disadvantage thing? It's actually the advantage thing, yeah. It's a very good narrative thing, but I'm <coughs> suspecting it might be way too OP. Well, this is we'll my... We need to play test that one. Too. We will. I'm just mm. noting it down. Uh, I, let's try it now and then. If you ever get into a situation where you feel like... what Where it might be really good, for example, is let's say a combat round finishes. Um, at the end of that, like you go through the combat round and you lose a certain amount of dice based on the injuries, but you end up winning the combat, right? Let me finish what I'm saying, because you're trying to... Yeah, I have a really good idea, though. Okay, well, let me finish what I'm saying. The, the idea and where it might be useful for a disadvantage is after the combat, the narrator might say, you're at a disadvantage until you heal, meaning all rolls, no matter what they are, require four and five... Sorry. Yeah, only a four and five are a success. Yeah. Okay? So, and a success might be... I don't know. But, like, it could be more narrative-based rather than being hard rule-based. So the narrator essentially says, well, you kind of screwed over or you're doing really well yeah. here. Like, it would be, have to you're be running on adrenaline. based on the narrator. It might be like you, you might come up with a soft berserker's rage skill where once a day mm -hmm. you have a, See, an advantage for a My thought time. is we kind of already have that in place, but we just give the person another dice to roll with on their roll. So, like we say, you know, we ask... Hey, we're on unstable footing, but I'm on higher ground than the other guy. Does that mean I have an advantage? And generally, what we've done so far is to say, "Yeah, you're right. I'll give you an extra dice to roll with." And that seems or a, a plus fair one win. Well, yeah, or a plus one high, win. High ground is already a lot of fun. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. That, that, so we have we already have that kind of in mm. place, and <laughs> it seems fairly balanced and fair because it isn't a guaranteed yeah. win by making everything two, three, sorry, three, four, and five a win. Like, I, I, guess I think that's a bit OP. That's yes and no, because I feel like they can have cases, different contexts. I yeah, feel see, like I feel like what you're talking about is very stage by stage. You hmm. swap around the advantages based on what we already have on our cheat sheet. You gain high ground, you lose your footing, you're, you're staggered, you're lying down, that sort of thing. Whereas this advantage-disadvantage system is more based around broad aspects of I got a great idea. advantage and disadvantage. Let's play! Us. No, no, no. I think, <laughs> I think if we I specify... Oh, wait, it could work, but I think we need to specify a bit more under what conditions you could rightly get the advantage or be disadvantaged. Didn't you leave right? your dice here specifically like, for the purpose so you could use your dice. Jazza, to get a natural advantage, it would have, have to no be idea what your dice something be. really big I'm for positive the you left them like in there they, somewhere. You know, they just um, got to sleep with the queen of the world and they're on the high, and so you get an advantage for your next five rolls kind of thing. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> The queen's pretty rapt about that. Yeah. <laughs> so, but like, it has to be big. It can't just be, I slept well or I'm on high ground because it's a big thing. And I had a thought with that. What if you could spend a destiny point to gain advantage on your next roll. That's cool. That's cool. Before we Because go, usually we have destiny that's points. That's cool because after the roll, you can only really affect one <coughs> point. Exactly. Oh, I like I that. that. Hey, I like that. Alpha. Hey, okay, let's write that down. We should try that one out. All right, while he's writing that down as well, let me for a second bring us back to the first rule you invented and consider perception. My bear has zero perception and with your current ro rule has got one, two, three, four, five, six in perception. We haven't dis like what's this based on? This is based on the Maggie's rule got a good point made. about the So I've got zero in perception and I just roll. Well a what six. we can do we can make it that the... Uh, Perception is not strength. Oh. It is. Oh. Wait, Jazza, what we could do... It's the hard cap on the two. Mackie has brought up a really good point. We could remove the huge bonus any point three and above gives on skill checks. Yeah. On attribute checks, you get it all. Yeah, but skill checks, checks? No. Point, one point... Yeah, because they grants, already get the... Yeah, one point grants one dice so on skill only checks. only on core attribute skill <coughs> checks. Core, yeah, attribute checks, not skill checks. So you'd need to write that. I'm in. sorry if you yeah. keep hearing me clear my throat. I'm kind of sick. So, with a grapple check anyway, wouldn't it be so for my bear? It would be free base three with an automatic win plus grapple. I don't roll assist because I'm not assisting a grapple. Strength is just a part of the grapple check. So this would be my. I think so. You can assist with a skill. 
Yeah. Yeah, but. And you get more dice, so it gives you a higher chance anyway. Um, mm. It's wiser, but. So I'm trying to remember some of the suggestions. I, I like. Th we need to try that, that one that's out because cool. yeah. I would use that. Yeah. And what we actually have needed is a chance to use destiny points proactively. Yeah. Before at the moment, a roll. at the moment, destiny points feel very reactive. Like I failed. Saving I grace. Now yeah. it, it gives us a chance to say, "This is what I want to do. This mm. is what my character at their core needs to get done," mm. which is awesome. I like what? it. We need, like what? It. we need to get started soon. We do. Uh, did you